Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this video, I'm going to clear a doubt that I've been asked by several of my students regarding uh, the new mode of CSINET exam. There is a CVT mode of CSINET exam and the conventional offline or paper mode of CSINET exam. Which one is better? The online CVT mode of the CSINET exam or the traditional paper based mode of CSINET exam. In this video, I'm going to talk both I'm going to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of both and also I'm going to share my personal opinion about what I think uh, is better for you for the future. So let's begin. All right. So very first thing is that uh, this time I'm making this video because I got complaint from my students that they found really difficult. Uh, to understand and answer question in many occasions where the questions are bigger so they can't scroll in uh, particularly the graph questions requires a lot of extra time that they should not take so in that case uh, in traditionally uh, if they take the exam uh, they could have attained more questions and 10 to 15 minutes time can be saved this is the complaint that i initially received and actually when i talked to them i found out yeah when i when i see the question because i didn't attain the exam in the cbt mode anytime so uh, we have our own online coaching app our own online uh, exam system where also we take the same uh, examination by this online mode but uh, the scrolling issue I don't think is reported by any students in Shomos Biology yet but what happened in real life CSINET situations are different there so let's begin to talk about the advantages of the CBT mode first which we all know I'm just going to give you a revise of that and then I'll talk about the advantages of the traditional method the paper method and then you can compare and then you can judge and reply that in the comment which one will be better for you so the very first thing is that regarding the uh, online mode of the exam what are the advantages of the cbt mode of the exam the very first thing that people always say is that cbt mode means we are going paperless so paperless means obviously we are contributing to the environment at least that's what we think this is the very first thing second thing is that in cbt mode examination the, ex the involvement of individuals or in involvement of person is less because after the examination is done the submit button is hit the question paper instantly gets submitted right so to the reservoir to the cloud based system to the software system that is being used to the nta so there is no in the middle player so there is no chance of loss of paper or information hack or any of this kind so it is more legit uh, to deliver the question paper at the end right as fast the third thing is that fast the timing the timing must be fast so the paper will be submitted fast and it will be checked fast it will be reported fast and all these things must be fast and to be honest if we look at you know last three net exams been snubbed but before that once two cbt mode exam has been conducted we've seen that the result came out first and also uh, the deadline for all these things become really really a little bit faster not that fast but a little bit faster i think it should be more fast so okay so that's uh, the idea i think this is the three these are the three things that are really really important and uh, the fourth thing is that regarding the fourth important feature that you can say as a student while filling the question is that in 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 normal traditional mode of paper mode uh, there is a paper right uh, the omr sheet and that is that is uh, written by your or your roll number so anything wrong with the omr once it's uh, you know you fill something uh, you fail like fill the omr in a wrong way or spill it out it's gone the paper is gone the question is lost or the paper can be cancelled where in case of online mode you can change the options until or unless you hit the submit button so you have plenty of chances of rethink to go through a question and it does not hurt if you rethink and change the option later on so that is another advantage as a uh, student as an attender for the exam okay that's uh, so these are the advantages these are the benefits that you that you face now what about the disadvantages of cbt mode or online mode of the examination now that's what uh, we are going to talk more about the first things first is that although it's an online mode uh, what happens in the online mode the question comes in the screen so uh, people are not that habituated to just see the questions which are detailed explanations bigger question to just see in the screen and screen is in front so it's kind of a psychological role that uh, when we practice we practice from the books and also checking the screen a little bit difficult and particularly if the question is big unit c question part c questions part c questions for all the other units the bigger questions and the bigger question there is a dimension where the question can be accommodated in the question paper during the exam so in the online mode now if the question is long large 
uh, and if it contains any image which it does in most of the cases in parts equations and it, it includes graph it's very difficult because you need to look at the graph scroll down and check the options again look at the graph scroll down scroll up so this scroll down and scroll up thing is really annoying and it's going to kill a lot of your time and sometimes you know when you're trying to uh, interpret a graph uh, scrolling up and down it will not help it will kill the time and that will create immense pressure on you and you may end up in investing more time and not answering the question at all. So that is a big, I think the biggest problem right now, the scrolling up and down thing, CSR must check that actually NTA must look into this, the software that you're using so that there may not be scrolling things. There may be, uh, they accommodate, uh, they should accommodate the graph or pictures or question in such a way that there is no or minimal scrolling required per question. So part B, uh, part A uh, questions are not that difficult because they're straight single line, single one or two line questions. But for part C, which is the maximum constituent of the exam, 50% of the exam marks is the one with bigger questions. So they must look into this matter. This is the very first and biggest problem that our students are facing. The second uh, problem that you're facing is that in the, in the online CBT mode again, in the paper mode, remember my old videos, I made this video in paper mode. It's always easy to find out questions from which topics they are asking questions. For example, a person may not be good in all 13 units and may not have prepared all the 13 units. But what they have done is, for example, you prepared unit 1 uh, in a better way, unit 3, unit 4, unit 6. So what you will do with the exam 1, 2, 3, 6. So you are going to find question from all these units. So if you want to see the question paper, if you have the physical question paper, you can directly go uh, in that section. Because earlier in the question paper, you see that part A question. So, I mean, you need one question in part C will be given from question number 71 to 76, 77, something like that. Then you need two questions, then you need three questions in bulk. But here you cannot see all the questions in bunch. Okay. Although they give you the small uh, markings of the questions, like if you click that marking number of the question, the question will open up. But you cannot see that question. You cannot visualize all the question in front of your eye. And that is really, really and knowing that's really uh, important actually to see all the questions so that you can jump and forth between the questions. Now this time in this year's question paper, my students say that they have asked mostly questions from developmental biology, particularly in plan B in the shift one. So developmental biology question asked more, they said that genetics question a little bit asked more, but I highly doubt. The thing is that uh, what happens is that in the online CBT mode, uh, you prepared six, seven units and you haven't prepared other six, seven units. So what will happen is that when you try to attend the question, the question all are shuffled. Okay. It's not likely that you're going to see all the party, uh, unit one question at the beginning, then unit two, then unit three, then unit four like that. No, there's no way that the question marks are shuffled, the questions shuffled, everything is shuffled. So what will happen is that the first question you'll attend maybe from unit one, the second one maybe from unit five, the third one maybe for seven, fourth one again from five. So in that way, if you haven't prepared any particular unit, for example, if you haven't prepared unit five, no matter how many, let's say five or six times that unit five question came, you always stuck to that one and you think yourself that yes, this question from this chapter is being asked a lot of times. That's what's happening. If your weak subject is unit seven, you'll probably see more unit seven question. It's psychological. Unit seven question is not in higher number, maybe a little bit higher, maybe instead of five unit seven question in unit part C, there were seven questions. But what happens is that if you don't know the chapter, if you haven't prepared the chapter well, you'll feel like the repeated question from unit seven came. Similarly, the repeated chapters of unit five came. So this thing happens because we cannot see the total entirety of the question in a question paper. Because if you can see the entirety of the question in a question paper, it's very easy for you to find out questions of your choice and answer them properly. I believe this is really, really important when you are creating such an immense selection pressure because CSINET not only checks your skill to answer the question, but also checks your skill to attend the question, which question you'll attend. So your selection pressure is checked, which question you will select. If you select wrong question, bad questions, you'll end up in getting less marks. So there's a huge selection pressure because 25 questions out of 75 need to be answered in you part C and 20, 35 out of 15 part B, 15 out of 20 in part A. So particularly in part C, there's huge selection pressure and it is easy if you see all the questions in front of I, to answer the question, but which is not the case in case of CBT mode. That is the second biggest problem with CBT mode. Now, apart from these two, there are other problems which can be fixed. Uh, for example, the third problem is related to the server issues, the software jam and uh, hang of the systems and all, but those can be fixed by the uh, center itself. But again, if uh, during examination, something like that happens, it hampers the flow. That's another big problem. Okay. But NT has been conducting this kind of exam since long time. So I, I will give them some credit to continue uh, with a proper way of exam conduction without any glitch or issue. 
So these are the three things, the three facts that are bad, but the two facts that I mentioned are really, really something to be considered. So thinking about this idea that the conventional mode, the paper-based mode, there are these one or two problems. But I believe if we can eradicate those problems, those two particular problems, the first problem can be easily uh, uh, tackled uh, to put the question and, and images in such a way so that students can see. Because there are so many obstacles and other things in the surrounding screen that can be minimized in such a way that the student can focus on an individual question, particularly in part C of CS100 Life Science. On the other hand, regarding the again uh, the number of questions, not possible in CBT mode to visualize all the number of questions like that. So uh, what they can do is that they can uh, give a image version of the question, I believe, uh, instead of single selection of the question, image version of the page, PDF kind, uh, which can be opened up and you can virtually check the pages. I think this can be done as well. So the question is uploaded like that. You can virtually snap through the page and can see the number of questions and where the number of questions are placed, where the questions from uh, which unit, questions from unit 1, 2, 3, 4, and you can check and you can mark that yes, you have prepared unit 2, 3, 4 well. So these are the number of questions from 2, 3, 4 units and you already marked that I'll answer question number 71, question number 82, question number 87, question number 88. So you select that and then you can answer the question. I think these two things can be incorporated and if you can import, incorporate that, it's going to increase. I think it's going to uh, increase the, the, the experience of examination for students and students will not complain about the, the conventional uh, paper-based mode. So we'll have the good quality of the paper-based mode along with that a better quality of CBT mode submission. Okay. Along with this too, we can build a very good exam experience for the students. So for NT also, this is a suggestion. If they can do that, I think it's better. And uh, to make this happen, what you can do, you can, you need to, you need to go and talk to them. You need to tweet them. You need to uh, send emails regarding the problems that you face all these issues. Because I, I know students that, that, that are involved with the problems facing. And most of the students told me like 10 to 15 minutes time kind of lost due to these issues. So I believe it's not good for the CBT mode. But if you combine the good part of the CBT along with the good part of the uh, traditional mode, paper mode, then both together will give us very good result. So let me know what do you think regarding the CSI and NET examination, CBT mode and conventional paper based mode. Which one you think is better and what about my suggestions and if you have any suggestions, please mention that in the comment section. So if you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and colleagues and teachers so that this can be shared and it can reach to the people who can think about it and can make some changes about it. Thank you. Bye.